Good morning, guys. So today we are starting the day out here at the Dublina Viking Museum. Um, this museum is actually conveniently right across the street from our hotel, and we've been walking past it um, the past couple days here in Dublin. So we thought we'd come in, take a look around, and see what all the excitement is about. Um, so we're just walking through right now. This is one of their, I guess, traditional houses. So far, it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Um, there's tons of stuff in here, tons of rooms. It's set up really cool, so we're very excited about it. Jacob found a hat. Well, I guess a helmet. <laughs> So they have this really cool station where you can um, print out your name in Viking letters. So I obviously did Alyssa. Yeah, and I did my name, but all you do is take a piece of paper like this, put it over top of this, and then you take the rock and you go on top like this, and it creates your letter. Super cool. Super cool. I've got some like armor over here of like you know like the sheets that they would wear underneath all their armor and this thing is so heavy. <laughs> I can't even pick it up myself. Crazy. Armor. Not the chain, lift the armor. <laughs> so now we are heading up the stairs to the second part of the museum which actually turns into the medieval museum. So that's kind of cool. See they wore it well. shoes they would make out of the leather. Look at these toes. Oh my god. What are those? <laughs> oh well that's a fashion statement right there. <laughs> Put your hand into the hole and feel inside. I hate these so I'm gonna make mom do it. <laughs> Try another one. The common language of commerce at the time, but English and Irish had also been heard across the board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my nails go in the dark in here. <laughs> oh, God, I hate this. Oh, my God. Me, too. That's why I made mom do it. Yeah, terrible. Give her go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. What a look! <laughs> oh, Jake found one too. Wait, you guys gotta put them both on at the same time. Oh, it does. Uh oh. <laughs> Your feet gonna fit there. <laughs> Uh oh, punished. <laughs> Making friends in the punishing booth. <laughs> Several towers were also. These are the cures for the medical booth. So, when it wounds, you burn the wound with like a hot, red hot iron, disinfect it. Oh. 
Ouch. Pox treated with leeches. Ooh. Ew. Ew. Leprosy. Sorry, no cure. <laughs> Earache. Cure by inserting a clove of garlic in the ear. Gross. Toothache. Extract the tooth. Holy shit. Headache. Cured by drinking brew of barley. Oh, there we go. Pair of the dogs. We're going to the tower. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> You're not done yet. <sighs> Taking a breather. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. The final steps. Wow. Oh, wow. You're almost there. <laughs> Keep going. Oh my God. Yeah. Where's mom? Ma. Week. Week. It's a week. Yeah. You made it. Made it. So just barely, but she made it. It's so stunning up here. Yeah. Wow. Panoramic views, baby. This is beautiful. Yeah. So that was the tower that we were just in, way up there, and then we just came out of these doors because they have a um, service going on in the church um, right now, so you could hear the choirs and stuff sing. It's absolutely beautiful. So now we are back at Trinity College. Um, this is our scheduled time to go in and see the Book of Kells. So we are just jumping in line and heading in the library. All right, so we just got out from seeing the Book of Kells in the library here at Trinity College. Um, but now we are going to go and find somewhere to eat. Um, we're gonna do a bit of a dinner tonight, um, lunch slash dinner, just because uh, we do have the musical pub crawl to go to tonight. Um, so we will be having appies and stuff later tonight. But for now, we're gonna go see if we can find some food. 
Um, we did hear that the Harry Lemon was pretty good, so we might see if we can find that. Um, but we're probably just gonna walk down the street and see what's good. All right, so we made our way to Grafton Street, and now we're just walking down, looking through all the shops, and enjoying some of the street performers that are here, out on the street. Okay, so we all just got our food. So I got the bangers and mash and then a side of chips. Mom, full Irish breakfast. Full baby. Irish breakfast. Zia. Cajun chicken uh, salad. Cajun chicken salad. Jacob, what'd you get? Bangers and mash and garlic bread. Bangers and mash and garlic bread. And Keela. A traditional cottage pie. Traditional cottage pie. Yum. So we just left the Harry Lemon um, and had lunch there. It was really, really good. Um, but as we're walking back to our hotel, we came across St. Patrick's Park. Very cool. All right, so it's a little bit later now. Um, we went back to our hotel earlier and took a nap to rest up for tonight because tonight we are hitting up the pubs. Um, we're doing a musical uh, pub crawl tonight in uh, the Temple Bar District. Um, so right now we are on our way to the meeting point and yeah, it should be a fun night. So this is the first stop tonight. The Oliver St. John Gogarty. Alright, so now we're on the move to the next pub. Um, it's just around the corner here, not too far, so bar number two. across the river to the next pub um, and we're gonna keep the music rolling. a little bit different than most. It's led by two local Irish musicians and they're taking us to a lot of pubs that most of the tourists don't go to. So more of the locals hang around here and we're doing more uh, traditional Irish music. So no covers like Ed Sheeran or John Denver, unfortunately for me because I love country roads take me home. But that's what we're doing tonight. So we're doing local pubs, traditional Irish music, flowing drinks. It's a fun night.
right, so we just finished up with the pub crawl. Now we are walking down the street, um, heading back over the river, um, back into the Temple Bar District. Um, we'll probably go check out some of the pubs there. We don't really have some plans for tonight. Um, so we're just gonna experience Dublin at night for ourselves and see where the night takes us. So we made it to the Temple Bar District and right before us is the iconic Temple Bar. Okay, so we just got back to the apartment hotel and on the way back we decided to stop and get some food um, because a lot of the uh, pubs and bars in the Temple District area and on our way back, um, they closed their kitchens early. I think they closed their kitchens at 10. So we had to take um, some takeout, but we found this place that sells fish and chips takeout called Leo Burke's. Leo Burke. Burdock. Or Burdock. Leo Burdock. Leo Burdock. Leo Burdock. Leo Burdock's. And look at the size of this. Okay, I don't know if like, okay, so I have an iPhone XR, okay? Look at, <laughs> look at the size of this fish. I don't even think, that doesn't even really do it justice. But anyways, you get tons of uh, chips, which I guess are fries, and a huge piece of uh, cod. We got the smoked. Yeah, we got smoked cod. So, so mom's good. feasting over there. Zia's <laughs> feasting over fun. here. Mm -hmm. Kayla did a little bit of her own cooking back here. But yeah, we're all enjoying some food mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, calling it a night. And those portions are huge. Yeah, huge portions. I don't know how many fries you got. Tom I know. Cruise it's crazy. Ate there. Yeah, apparently yeah. Tom Cruise ate there. I saw a newspaper article showed Tom Cruise ate there. It's been open since 1913. I don't know how much I believe that because every single restaurant we've been to it pretty much says that Tom Cruise ate there. So I don't know if we're just going to the popular restaurants or no, if he actually, actually worked had there. A newspaper article, so. Okay. Um, anyways, um, we're going to call it a night. Um, we had fun at the pub crawl tonight, um, as well as we did the Book of Kells earlier, which was pretty cool too. So tomorrow we don't have as much plans that is, since it is basically our last day here. Um, we're going to have to do a lot of packing up and make sure our suitcases aren't overweight before we head back to Canada. Um, but yeah, we pro we'll probably do a little bit of strolling, maybe do a little bit of last minute shopping. Um, but there's really no plan for tomorrow, so it'll just be a fun day in Dublin. Um, relaxing, hanging out, and just enjoying ourselves and our time here. 